pleased to welcome you all to another in the series of information videos. I am Anne Gannon, I'm the Staff Wellbeing and Development Manager, and I'm interviewing Dr. Michael Byrne, Head of the Student Health Department, to help us understand the health issues facing students as we head into the next academic year. So, Michael, I have some questions that will help us better understand the type of health issues that are important to students coming to UCC in the autumn. And my first question is, where can students be directed to get reliable and trustworthy advice on COVID-19? Well, thanks very much, Anne. I'm delighted to get this opportunity. I suppose in answer to this particular question, I think there are three sources of reliable and trustworthy advice that students and indeed staff could be directed to. The principal source of guidance in Ireland is the HSC COVID-19 website, and that gives helpful information on how you can protect yourself and others, and is the first port of call for all in these circumstances. UCC COVID-19 webpage has also got a lot of helpful information that's particular to the university setting, and I would encourage students and staff to read this regularly. And finally, for healthcare UCC staff and healthcare UCC students, there's also a helpful a source of advice on the hpsc.ie website for the healthcare setting. Thanks very much, Michael, and particularly relevant, I suppose, as yeah. the information and advice may change and be revised over time. Absolutely. So my next question is in relation to responding to a student who suspects that they have COVID-19. So what do I do if a, if a student comes to me and suspects they may have COVID-19, but they're at, in their accommodation or at home, so they've contacted me by phone or by email. So if someone phones or emails you to say that they think they have COVID-19 in their home or accommodation, it's important to stay in contact with them and to advise them that they must remain where they are and in self-isolation, not to leave the room they're in or the apartment they're in, they need to immediately telephone UCC Student Health on 4902311 or indeed their own general practitioner if they would prefer. Um, it is important that they don't leave the accommodation to go to a pharmacy or a general practice or student health or to an accident and emergency or other facility because they could put other people at risk. Um, after the incident when you're content that the student uh, has understood uh, your advice and has acted accordingly. It's then reasonable to discuss the incident with your line manager, but please do respect the student's right to privacy and confidentiality, and certainly do not use email to communicate any person identifiable information. It can be done on a no-name basis, and then you can give over the phone or face-to-face -to, -face to the uh, line manager the details of the student involved and afterwards the line manager will inform student health department if we don't already know. Thanks Michael and I suppose a situation may arise where a student might come up to a lecture in advance of a lecture to say that they're unwell so what should a staff member do in that situation where they're actually on campus and they suspect that they have COVID and they speak to a member of staff? Absolutely, and indeed, as, you, as you've just said, it's not necessarily just a, a lecturer, it could be any of us on the university team. And in essence, in these circumstances, the response to a suspected case of COVID-19 on campus setting is managed by the COVID response team for the building in which you are in. So if you are approached uh, by a student who says they think they have COVID-19, at all times remain at least two metres away from them. Each of you should be wearing face coverings if you're indoors. And if you're outdoors, it's wise that both of you put on face coverings. And if you immediately could contact a line manager or the COVID response team in the building or area you're in, the incident will be then managed. And there is some really helpful advice on how you prepare for and deal with a suspected case of COVID-19 on the COVID-19 webpage in the returning to university section. If in circumstances you are really struggling and can contact any of the above and you don't know who to contact, you can always contact Student Health Department on 4902311 who would talk you through what you should do in the circumstances. And finally, if you're unfortunately not able to get any of us, the principles are as follows. The ideal circumstances is that that student is asked to return to their accommodation immediately alone, not on public transport, 
they remain away from other people during the journey and when they get home they should self-isolate and contact their own GP. That however is only done in extreme circumstances when you're not able to get other people who are identified at, in terms of managing this situation uh, from the COVID response team or student health. Thank you very much Michael, that's very useful information and I suppose finally um, as we know a lot of academic staff are already preparing online methods of delivery to students but we do know also that there will be some face-to-face -face settings so what can I do as a staff member to protect myself and students in a face-to-face -face setting? Well I think the first thing um you should do is you should download the HSE COVID-19 tracker app which is absolutely essential for this country in terms of responding to the threat of COVID-19 to aid contact tracing after an incident occurs and I would strongly encourage and endorse the use of this app by everyone in UCC. You should also to prepare for such an incident you should familiarize yourself with all the HSE guidelines on the HSE website I referenced earlier. Personally, you should always practice good respiratory and cough hygiene. When you're either coughing or sneezing, you should cough into your elbow or on into a tissue and discard the tissue into a bin. Practices remain a social distance of two meters from everyone outside your own family, and that's strongly recommended in circumstances where that isn't possible, such as in enclosed spaces, or if we move to a circumstances where it is reasonable to have a one meter social distance with face covering, well then wear a face covering at all times. You should wear a face covering as recommended by the government in other settings, such as in public transport and uh, in shops and indoor settings. And should you or anyone else become ill, the principle is that you self-isolate and contact your own GP immediately and do not leave home, get help. That's great. Thank you very much, Michael. You've answered some key questions that would be very relevant to staff members returning in the ocean. Thank you. OK, thanks very much, Anne.